Hey guys, this is just a quick tutorial to show you how to find the BPM of a song in Serato if it does not analyze it properly. So for this example, I'm going to use Nyla Blackman's Soka, and I analyzed it and my Serato for some reason thought that it was 96 BPM. So there are two ways you can do this. You can either tap along to the rhythm of the song with this button up here. This is actually a button and you can get an idea of what the BPM is and I'll skip ahead to a section of the song and just tap along and show you what I mean. Alright, so I clicked along and it gave me 129, which is pretty close to what the actual BPM for the song is, right? Um, but this is not 100% accurate, so I don't really like to do it this way. Let me show you a better way to do it. So I'm just going to change it back to 96, and for the next method, you have to go to Setup and Enable Sync. If you use this one, you have to make sure this is ticked. If you use this one, it's automatically selected for you, right? Now you get this option here that gives you this um, beat grid. Um, so let me just clear the beat grid first so that you don't get confused. And I'm going to skip ahead to a part of the song. It can be anywhere, um, just somewhere that is easy to understand what's going on in the song. So I just set my cue point where the song really gets going. This is the first um, part where the beat actually comes in fully. So I just set a cue point here. Um, no, what you want to do is click Edit Grid and click Set, right? This puts a downbeat there. And then what you want to do is basically count four beats ahead, um, which is a bar. And on the beginning of the second bar, which would be beat five, you want to pause it and then adjust the grid accordingly so that um, the two, which is bar two, lines up with where it actually should be in the song. And let me show you what I mean by that, right? So... I'm just going to hit save and hit play. So, one, two, three, four, five, right? So, I know that bar two should be right here, but it's over here. So, I need to put this there. So, you click edit grid and you just drag it until it just ends up over there. And as I'm dragging it, you can see the BPM changing, right? And then, boom, 129, right? If I drag it, if I... um. <laughs> Um, <clears throat> no, this is not 100% accurate as yet. So you have to go further along in the song to get it even more fine-tuned. You can do that by using this feature here, right? And so watch what I mean. See, it's the beat grid is drifting a little bit. Watch how this 4 is not exactly on it. So as I nudge it over, you notice this change to 128 now. And so you just want to just keep going ahead and making sure that this is as accurate as possible by just scrubbing along the rest of the song and just and when you get to near the end of the song it should not really be drifting anymore it should just be it just should stay pretty consistent and as you can see I'm down all the way at the bottom now so I'm just going to hit save and if you just kind of go back and scrub ahead you see it just pretty much stays on the grid now because it's 128 BPM, that's the speed of the song. Now the next thing, the last thing you want to do is put the downbeat, the first downbeat, where it actually should be, which is at the beginning. So I'm just going to clear that and go back to the beginning and put it where it actually should be. Uh, watch. So right here she says, hmm, that's where the downbeat should be. And I'm just going to put it there, hit save, and now the song is properly analyzed. All the features in Serato that depend on the BPM and the beat grid of the song will work properly. And that's it.